my name is Laura and today I have an iMats haul for you guys. I feel like this is a little bit delayed because iMats was a few weeks ago, but I seriously have not had any time to film. But I'm here for you today to share with you what I got. Um, this is my second time at iMats and I had a blast. People said that this year wasn't even as good as last year. I think it was better than last year just because it wasn't so packed. Like. I don't know, to each their own, but I enjoyed it. I did go to IMATS last year, so and I did film an IMATS haul, so I'll link that down below if you're curious what I got last year. But anyway, let's just get into what I bought at IMATS for 2016. And I bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I got was just a whole heap of Model Rock lashes. I'm wearing one pair of them today. I'm wearing the DW pair, which I think is the Demi Wispy pair. I really like these so much. And I also got one other style, which was the 241s, which look like this. Yeah, so these are literally the only two styles that I bought. And I'm pretty sure I got like 10 of each or something. They were like 10 for $35, which $3.50 each is actually pretty good for lashes. I normally spend around maybe like 4 or $5 on lashes. So that's a good saving for me, and I've got heaps. <laughs> I got a MAC pump because I also bought a MAC foundation. I love MAC pumps, they're just so versatile, like you can use them for so many things, like um, all the Estee Lauder foundations, I think you can use them, I've got them on all my double wear, um, I use them on my MAC foundation, Vicky uses it on her Fit Me, this is mine, I haven't put a, oh damn it, I should have got another pump and put it on this, oh whatever, anyway, so I got that, Ben and I was giving out like foundation samples, so I got a few of those, and also pigment samples, this one's the rose gold pigment. So those were free, which is good. This was a gift with purchase from Inglot. This is the Inglot Brow Wax. That's cool. I got the MAC Fix Plus because mine, I still have heaps left, but my package is broken. Like it just leaks water. So I thought that I'd get a new one just for like when I travel and stuff. I don't feel like MAC, MAC Fix Plus is like a necessity, but I don't know. I just like having it on hand. It's just nice as like a refreshing spray as well. I got the MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC35. This is actually for a friend for work, so I'm going to put this to the side so I don't forget to give that to her. Oh my god, these. Hold on. Let me get the rest. These. Oh my god. These haven't been released in Australia yet, and I'm so glad that they were at IMAX. These are the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I bought all four of them because I was so obsessed. This is the new collection that they brought out. Or not new collection, like the new highlighters that they brought out. So I got all four shades. The first one being Beaming Blush. So they're like kind of like duochrome, which I think is pretty cool. I don't want to swatch them yet because I haven't even taken photos of them yet. This one is Double Gleam. This one I think will be the most wearable one, I think. Just because it's a bit more goldy. At least for me. This one is absolutely gorgeous. What's this one called? Show Gold. It's like a shifted white to like pink. I don't know if you can see that. I need to do a video about these. Oh my god. And then this one I just got because like seriously, it shifts like white purple. I don't know if we can catch it. Just trust me. In real life, it like shifts. There we go. <laughs> it shifts purple. They are so good. I bought all of them. Like I couldn't even control myself. I was like, need. I only bought two pigments from Inglot, which I was so surprised with. I thought I was going to buy so many more, but I end up only buying two because, like, I got anxious. I was like, oh, my God, I have three at home, and I don't know which shades they are, and I didn't want to double up. So, thankfully, I didn't double up. I got the shades 83. I will swatch these for you. So, this one is the color 83, which shifts, like, it's like a duochrome, like, bright green to, like, like an orange, which is pretty, but on camera, it didn't look very good. Like, I wore it out clubbing one night. Or oh, I didn't wear it out clubbing. I almost wore it out clubbing. And it just, it set off the contrast on my phone. And it seriously made me look so sick. So I don't know how I feel about this one. But it's really, really pretty. So I need to work with it. Because, like, I was trying to take selfies. And it seriously just made me look so ill. So I end up just wiping, like, a matte eyeshadow over the top. And just, like, going out like that. Because, like, it just threw off the contrast so badly. And then I got the shade 1, 2, 3. Which I haven't even opened yet. Oh, this one's, like, a pretty champagne-y color. Like, a goldy champagne. Now I'm covered in pigment, which is always good. <laughs> anyway, soldiering on. Oh my god, this is probably one of my favorite things of all of iMats. I bought one of the Makeup Forever Light Fusions or Pro Light Fusions in number two. I was like, the lady was like, yeah, we only have like six left. And I was like, six. And Vicky was like, six. And we just got them. 
Like, it's just the makeup for a gold highlighter, but oh my goodness, I'm so excited for it. I really regret not buying the other one as well now, but whatever. I'll just wait for next year. So excited for that, seriously. I want to swatch it, but I want to take photos of it first, because I'm really weird. I bought an Inglot Duraline. I've used this once so far, and I actually do really like it. I'm quite impressed. Um, I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I do, but I'm so happy. I did get the MAC pigment in vanilla. I wasn't going to, but it was kind of just like Rebecca had it in her cart and she was like, get it. And I was like, okay. So I got it. I haven't even swatched it either. I was expecting to get a lot more pigments than what I did. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. I got the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC37. Hopefully that matches me because I kind of just self-matched myself. For a second, I was like, damn, that looks really, really light in the bottle. Doesn't that look really, really light in the bottle to you guys? Oh, well, it's okay. I fade 10 a lot, so I'll fluctuate between that shade at some stage. <laughs> I got another MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light because I hit pan on mine, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get out of eye mats because it's actually cheaper than buying it in the state. I bought a whole heap of Model Rock eyelash glue. I regret not getting more, but that's okay because I bought three tubes, so I don't know. Hopefully it lasts me. You know how I said the... Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Pro whatever fusion was my favorite thing. I lie. This was my favorite thing. So I walked past the eye candy store. Last year I bought so much eye candy. Me and Rebecca, we walked in there and I was like, girl, you and me, we're not buying any more glitter. Like, I'm not letting you buy glitter. I'm not letting me buy any glitter. And she's like, okay. But I said, if it's on sale and there's cute ones, we'll get them. And she was like, okay. Anyway, we walked past the stand and it was, they had like a little sale tub. And I was like, let's just have a look. Like we said, if it was on sale, we might get it. And it was like four for $15 or something like that. And I got two, Rebecca got two and we just split it. And oh my God. Like, like literally I got back to the hotel and I was showing Vicky and all I could do was this. Like I was so excited. They're glitter stars. They're glitter stars. I don't know when I'll ever use these, but I got an orange glitter star and blue glitter stars. Oh my goodness. I, I need to think of something super creative to do with these. Like, ah! <laughs> you guys must think I'm a weirdo. Also, I'm not really too sure what these are called because there's no name on these, but that's okay because I love them. Eek! And then last but not least is brushes. I only bought three. Well, not only. I have heaps of brushes, so this is actually quite a lot. But I bought a few brushes from Designer Makeup Tools. They actually had quite affordable brushes at IMAX. These brushes were around $10 each, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And they're so ridiculously soft. Like, they're not Hakuhodo soft. But because I don't own any, I don't have that expectation. But these are honestly so... Sorry, my camera cut out. But anyway, I got the large blush brush, which I'll probably use for powder, I think. Um, like, I don't know. Like, I don't think it would be a good shape for blush for me. But I feel like it would be really, really good for, like, powder. But I got that one. And this is probably one of my favorite brushes that I got. I also got the angle blush this one i thought would be really really good for like contouring or even applying my highlighter i rarely wear blush so there's no point in me getting a blush brush for blush but yeah i got that one as well and then i got this one which is so ridiculously soft what's the number of this this one is the angle contour soft goat mix brush and oh my goodness it is so soft. Like, I cannot wait to use this for contour. Overall, that's what I got from iMats. I don't feel like I got a lot of stuff, but I know I spent a hell of a lot of money. But you know what? I don't even care. It makes me happy. I work so hard for my money, and I cannot wait for next year. Put it that way. I cannot wait for next year. So, yeah, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video. And, yeah, I don't really feel like there's anything else for me to say. If you like any reviews or want to see any of these products in future videos, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And, yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.